Six Most Dangerous North American Animals North America is home to some truly formidable wildlife that commands both fear and respect. Today we're counting down the six most dangerous animals on the continent, and you might be surprised by some of the contenders. From swamp-dwelling living dinosaurs to mighty predators of the frozen Arctic, we'll see what makes each of these animals so dangerous. Before we get started, if you love learning about wild animals and exploring nature's thrills, make sure to subscribe to our channel, join our adventure, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future wildlife countdowns and safety tips. Now, let's start. Number 8. American Alligator Lurking in the murky swamps and marshes of the southeastern United States is the American alligator. With its armor-like scales, powerful tail, and a mouthful of sharp teeth, the alligator is built to be a top predator in its habitat. Why are alligators so dangerous? For one, their bite strength is off the charts. An adult alligator can chomp down with over 2,000 psi of force. That's enough power to crush bones easily. Yikes. It's one of the strongest bite forces of any animal on Earth, so you definitely don't want those jaws anywhere near you. If an unlucky prey gets too close to the water's edge, the gator can explode out of the water with shocking speed. In a split second, it can clamp its massive jaws on prey and perform a brutal death roll, twisting and thrashing to subdue and drown its victim. Alligators rarely attack humans unprovoked, but rarely doesn't mean never. In Florida alone, home to about 1.3 million alligators, wildlife authorities still record an average of eight alligator attacks on people each year. Since record-keeping began in 1948, there have been over 450 documented bites on people in Florida, and unfortunately, about 30 of those were fatal. A big male gator can grow over 12 feet, 3.6 meters long, and weigh nearly half a ton. Their camouflage and patience makes them the ultimate stealth predator in swamps and rivers. Number 5. Grey Wolf Wolves are often portrayed as the big bad villains in stories, but in reality, these wild canines are usually shy around humans. That said, they are highly skilled pack hunters and extremely powerful for their size, so they deserve a healthy dose of caution and respect. A grey wolf looks like a large, rugged dog. Males can weigh around 80 to 100 pounds, 36 to 45 kilograms. But don't let the comparison to dogs fool you. Wolves are built for hunting. They have lean muscular bodies and long legs that let them trot for miles and sprint at about 35 to 40 miles per hour, 56 to 64 kilometers per hour when closing in on prey. And their jaws? Very strong. A wolf's bite is about 400 psi in force easily capable of crushing bones. One reason wolves can be so dangerous is their teamwork. Wolves live and hunt in packs, usually families of six to ten, with a clear hierarchy and cooperative strategy. A single wolf might not risk taking on a healthy 600-pound elk, but a pack of wolves will work together to test the herd, chase the weakest or sickest individual, and wear it down. How about towards humans? Here's where things get interesting. Despite their fierce reputation, grey wolves very rarely attack people. In fact, documented wolf attacks in North America are exceedingly uncommon. Over the last few decades, there have been only a handful of cases. According to wildlife experts, in the entire North American continent, there have been only two fatal wolf attacks on humans in the last 20 years. Think about that. Two incidents over two decades, whereas things like domestic dogs or even deer injure and kill far more people each year. Wolves, for the most part, have a natural fear of humans and keep their distance. 
So why are wolves on the most dangerous list at all? Well, this list isn't about which animals attack people the most often, it's about which have the potential to be very dangerous. And a wolf certainly has that potential. They are large carnivores with strong predatory instincts. If a wolf is cornered, threatened or rabid, it can absolutely injure or kill a person. Number 4. Cougar, Mountain Lion Coming in at number 4 is the cougar, also known as the mountain lion, puma or panther. If you live in or visit the western parts of North America, especially near forests or mountains, you're in the territory of this stealthy big cat. Cougars are masters of remaining unseen. They're often called ghosts of the wilderness. A cougar is a powerful predator built for ambush. A full-grown male cougar can weigh around 130 pounds, 60 kilograms, and measure 7 to 8 feet, 2.1 to 2.4 meters, from nose to tail tip. Their body is lean and muscular, with very strong hind legs. In fact, cougars have astonishing leaping abilities. They can jump 18 feet high straight up or leap 40 feet forward in a single bound in pursuit of prey. They are also remarkably fast in short bursts. A cougar can sprint at about 40 to 50 miles per hour, 64 to 80 kilometers per hour, though they can't maintain that speed for long. With claws that act like grappling hooks and jaws equipped with long canine teeth, a cougar typically kills by delivering a crushing bite to the back of the neck or head of its prey, often after a short pounce or chase. Now, why are cougars dangerous to people? For one, they are one of the few predators in North America that occasionally do see humans as potential prey. A mountain lion might sometimes stalk a lone human, especially if that person is acting like typical prey. Such cases are rare, but they have happened. There's something particularly scary about the idea of a big cat silently shadowing you, deciding if it should pounce. Over the last century, cougar attacks have been very infrequent, but they tend to target children or solitary adults, which suggests the cougar is treating the person as it would other prey. Wildlife records show that in all of North America, there have been fewer than 30 confirmed fatal cougar attacks in the past 150 years. Number 3. American Bison you might not expect it, but the American bison, that shaggy, humpbacked herbivore often just called the buffalo, ranks as one of North America's most dangerous animals. Wait, you ask, isn't a bison basically a cow with a big head? How can a plant eater be so dangerous? Well, imagine a very grumpy cow that weighs up to 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms, can run three times faster than you, and has two sharp horns on its head. Now give that cow a bad attitude, especially during certain times of the year, and you've got a bison. In truth, bison are usually calm grazers, minding their own business on prairies and parklands. Bison do not like to be approached or bothered. If they feel threatened, for example if you get too close trying to take a selfie, they can charge with astonishing speed. So there's no running away from an angry bison. They will be on you in seconds. And when they hit, it's like being struck by a battering ram with horns. There have been cases of people getting gored, impaled by the horns, or thrown high off the ground by charging bison. Statistically, bison injure more people in Yellowstone National Park than any other animal. Yes, that's right. Not bears, not wolves, but bison are the number one culprits of wildlife injuries in that famous park. Number 2. Polar Bear Now we are getting into the truly fearsome. At number 2 is the polar bear, the largest bear in the world and the largest land carnivore on Earth. If the Arctic had a king, the polar bear would wear the crown. These bears are massive. An adult male polar bear typically weighs between 800 and 1300 pounds. 
362 to 590 kilograms and can stand up to 9 or 10 feet, 2.7 to 3 meters tall when on its hind legs. They're not just heavy, they're built like tanks with a thick layer of fat and muscle. And unlike most other bears, polar bears are almost entirely meat eaters. They also pack a punch in the bite department. Among all bears, polar bears have the strongest bite force, measured around 1200 psi. Those elongated sharp canines and massive jaws are designed to pierce the thick hide and blubber of seals, meaning they would make short work of human flesh. One swipe of a polar bear's huge paw can crack a skull or snap a spine. It's sobering to realize just how lethal these creatures are in close quarters. In the high arctic areas of Canada, Alaska, Greenland and Russia, polar bears occasionally wander into human settlements and these situations can turn deadly. Polar bear attacks, while not everyday occurrences, have been on the rise in some areas as climate change reduces sea ice and brings bears and people into closer contact. Researchers compiled records and found that between 1870 and 2014, there were 73 documented polar bear attacks on humans, and 20 of those were fatal. Unlike other bears which usually avoid people, a polar bear might seek you out. Another characteristic making polar bears dangerous is their intelligence. They have been observed engaging in what looks like deliberate tactics when hunting. Number 1. Brown Bear – Grizzly Bear At the top of our list is the brown bear, particularly the North American brown bear populations, commonly known as grizzly bears and the giant Kodiak bears in Alaska. Brown bears are legendary in North America. They've starred in countless books, movies, and park ranger warnings alike. These are the bears that hikers are taught to be wary of when trekking in places like the Rocky Mountains, Yellowstone, or Alaska. While technically the polar bear is larger, the brown grizzly bear wins our number one spot because it combines size, strength, and a higher likelihood of encountering humans in popular wilderness areas. In other words, grizzlies have a bit of a reputation, and it's not undeserved. First, let's talk power and aggression. A typical adult grizzly bear, Ursus arctus horribilis, in the continental US might weigh around 300 to 600 pounds, 136 to 272 kilograms for a female, and 400 to 800 pounds, 181 to 362 kilograms for a male. These are incredibly strong animals. A grizzly's muscle power is renowned. They can swipe with their front paw so hard that it can decapitate smaller animals or break the spine of a large moose. They have long, thick claws, up to four inches, that are great for digging, but also formidable weapons. And their bite? Oh boy. On top of that, grizzlies are surprisingly fast. They are the fastest of all bear species, Top speeds of 30 to 35 miles per hour, 48 to 56 kilometers per hour, have been recorded. Imagine a creature that big moving that fast. It's like a sprinting truck. Grizzly bear attacks can be brutal, but interestingly, they are often not predatory. Often a defensive bear will maul a person just enough to incapacitate them, then leave. That can still mean grievous injuries or death, of course. However, there are cases of predatory attacks by brown bears too. Usually these are by male bears that are either very hungry or have gotten used to associating humans with food. In recent decades, wildlife statistics show an average of two to three fatal bear attacks, combined black, brown, polar, per year in North America, with grizzlies being responsible for the majority of those in the US and Canada. Historically, since the 1700s, brown bears have killed around 80 people in North America in total, which again is not a huge number over such a long period. But each of those incidents is pretty terrifying. 